Hello friends, I'm Trinity Scott with Overnight Games. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Imhotep, The Duel, published by Cosmos, designed by Phil Walker Harding. This is a two-player game that takes about 30 minutes to play. Let's get started. Setup. Place the harbor board between the two players. Place the six boat tokens and the six moorings of the harbor. Both players choose a color, black or white, and receive the four meeples of the color. Also, place the sight boards, the obelisk, temple, pyramid, and tomb in front of you. All of them should be on the same side, side A or B. A's are suggested for your first duel. Shuffle all cargo tokens face down and build a face down pile. Place three randomly chosen cargo tiles face up on the cargo spaces on each of the six boats. Place three randomly chosen cargo tiles face up in the reserve spot in the corner. You are now ready to begin the game. On your turn, you must choose one of three actions. First, place one meeple. Take one of your meeples from your repository and place it in an unoccupied harbor space in the 3x3 grid. Or, unload one boat. Unload one boat that is moored at the end of a row or column that has at least two meeples of any color in it. If there are not at least two meeples of any color in a column or row, you may not choose this action. Each meeple in this chosen row or column unloads one cargo token from the boat. The meeple closest to the boat unloads the cargo space farthest away from the harbor. The owner of this meeple returns the meeple to his or her repository and takes the corresponding cargo token off the boat. It is possible for cargo tokens to not be unloaded, in which case it should be taken and removed from the game. The boat is then loaded with three randomly chosen cargo tokens. If the supply of cargo tokens is empty and the boat cannot be loaded, the boat is instead removed from the game. Received tokens are instantly placed next to the corresponding sideboards, obelisk, temple, pyramid, and tomb. Action tokens are going to be placed face up next to the sight boards. Or play one action token. If you possess an action token, you may play it and make use of its function. The played action token is then removed from the game and returned to the box. You may only use one action token per turn. This is then considered your turn. End of game. Players take turns until the second to last boat is removed from the game, and thus only one boat remains. The game ends immediately, and you determine who scored the most points. The last boat cannot be unloaded, and no player receives its cargo tokens. End of game scoring. You're going to score one point for every obelisk token, and six additional points if you have the most obelisk tokens. You're going to score one point for every circle symbol. You're going to score on both of your pyramids according to the graph. And you're going to score for each set of connecting tombs. At the end, add up your points, and whoever scores the most is the victor. I hope you enjoyed this how to play video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And until next time, happy gaming.